feel like working small today. Hold it. Oh wow, I didn't know I could do that while I was recording. Okay, now I'm going to cut it down even further. And you'll see why. I'm going to be making a conch shell, but a tiny conch shell. Let's see, we got this piece. In the same way you make them big, you can make them small. And, you know, people say, how do you do it smaller? Let me scoot this over just a little so we're more in the center. I'm noticing that. How do you make it smaller? And it's like, same way you do a, you know, you. You're writing words on a page and you say to yourself you're going to make the next word smaller. You say concentrate, make the same basic jokes, but just put it in a smaller space. And that's exactly in that same part of your brain that you do big things, you can do small things. But you just got to use a finer point pen or a finer flame to get the detail in it that you really, really want. Right, right, right. Should have done the stringer with a bigger heavier duty flame but since it's here and I figure this this conch shell isn't going to be very big at all matter of fact one more little clump of glass and it's going to be about that size or less might even be able to do one or one and a half with the amount of glass that I've got right here you'll see what I mean in just a second okay first of all We start out, I'm going to do sort of like a weave pattern to flare it out. Okay. Now I'm going to do the weave pattern and flare it back in, sort of like a weave Maria, a, weave, a woven Maria with me so far. Kind of small, but with this new torch, you can see detail a little better too, which is cool. And yes, I'm using I'm using a didymium lens over my camera. I just haven't found the right filter to go with it to haze out the bright brightness. Okay, we're almost there. It's like the cone shape to the conch shell. This is the bottom part of the body of the conch shell coming up now. There we go. These are kind of complicated, but they're not at the same time. Start here. Flare it out. And then you keep going. And you do it a little bit further forward each time you do this. And you know what? This is getting a little warm on my fingers. So I've got to put a cold weld here. And then add another attachment back here. <laughs> so I don't burn the living daylights out of my fingers while I'm doing this. Yes, I take things down to the nub. I know. I over extend but I also like to show you that or take it down to the fringe of a shoestring budget is what I say I, in other words most people would have thrown that little nub away me I'm gonna make something out of it I turn that ten dollar ten, ten cents worth of glass into a ten dollar item or twenty dollar item depending upon what it is and who I'm selling it to and it's getting there. You can see that it's starting to look like a conch shell. Now, got that side. I'm going to do it one more loop around here because I can. I'm going to use a very hard, heavy duty contrasting color to, to go with this. I thought about it. And it's totally off the wall of the color that I'm using. So 
I gotta make a stringer of it though, real quick first. Wait, wait, oh wow, I've got a stringer already to go. Cool. You'll see it in just a sec. Be patient. Patient. Don't go. Okay, now I'm gonna. Uh, I usually put a cold weld here at the bottom. And now I'm gonna work my way to the top of this thing. Oh, no, you can't see it. The color that I'm gonna use was just out of your view. And here it is, white. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to kick it up just a notch. And now manipulate the shape just a little bit, okay? Just a little. And you can do that with a knife. You can do that with a pair of tweezers. You can do that with just about anything you really want to. What I'm doing is I'm going to flare out this more towards the top oh come on work with me here guys here we go here we go I'm gonna round it there we go and I'm gonna call it quits there and this is what the white is for you'll see it Now I'm going to work my way around and around and a spiral pattern going to the top of the point here. There we go. Now I put points. Little bumps go back all the way around that spiral adding bumps. It's almost like a Christmas con. Maybe I will next year. It's two days before Christmas. And these conks are I'm excited about, I guess you could say. This is looking good. I like the contrast of the white with the green. It's not something you'd see in normal. And maybe I might do a where it's white body with the green contrast on it too, just to see how it works and looks. And we have, oops, I gotta put a loop on it. And we have one conch shell. Pendant slash ornament slash whatever you want to do with it. I love my conks. And I think they're they're evolving. They have been evolving. I think this is about the third or fourth video I've done on conks and, and I just and with the closer view gives you something to look at. There we go. Flare out the, the loop itself. And pull it off, put it in the oven. And it's done. Sweet. Thank you for being there, guys. As always, Carpe Vitro. And enjoy your day.